Customer experience is increasingly important in the connected world, and this year's Enterprise IT Strategy Forum saw the inaugural Customer Experience Strategy Forum running alongside it. The combination of these two events, held at the prestigious Haythrop Park Resort in Oxfordshire, and sponsored by providers of products and services to the industry, resulted in an engaging and diverse range of topics, approaches and solutions being explored through presentations, discussion groups and case studies. I've come here today to the Enterprise IT Strategy Forum to really get exposed to new technologies, meet lots of new people, learn you know, what's going on in the industry out there in the wide world. You know, I've been working at 20th Century Fox for a little while now, so it's good to always keep abreast of the latest things that are going on. We're here at the Customer Experience Strategy Forum to help to build pipeline for our company. Um, we are a uh, software company. Um, we are uh, in a growth phase and looking to grow now um, our successful US business into uh, Europe and beyond. Quite often in a large bank like I'm in, people with a customer in their job titles, we're in the minority, so it's great to come to a place and be with lots of other professionals who have the same challenges within their organisations, um, so we can cross-pollinate, we can learn from each other and discuss the issues, and it's also nice just to be with kindred spirits where we don't have to explain some of the concepts that we have to explain in our day-to-day -day jobs. So I hadn't appreciated that there were the, the two different forums running today, the Customer Experience Strategy Forum and the IT Forum. However, I did find actually that the, the IT Forum and the candidates from that were very much of relevance. My level of te technical expertise um, in the IT sector isn't there, but it very much wasn't necessary. Yeah, the delegates here um, have been senior so far, so they're decision makers um, or certainly senior influencers, which is great for us um, because that gives us um, a, better, a better foothold where normally we're trying to find the right person, all those right people are already here. What it did for me, again, which I felt was probably something I wasn't expecting, is it, it my, by the end of the first session, my uh, sales pitch had become I don't want to say a perfect pitch because that sounds a bit arrogant, but it had been honed over each and every successive time. And you're working to the bell, so you become more efficient with the words you choose, the, the messages you land. And um, so I think in general, uh, I didn't imagine it would work, but it felt like there was business going on. And um, I think companies were finding leads and customers were finding new vendors. Speed Networking was a mix of, of audiences from two different strategy conferences. Um, and actually, um, during that exercise, I met quite a few people from, uh, from both conferences um, where the solution that I sell um, resonated very strongly. So um, I think that the Speed Networking event was, was very successful. Um, it was fun as well um, as an exercise. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and um, yeah, it, it worked very, very well. I'd, I'd do it again for sure. The organisation's been really good, so you know they took us all over to their lunch venue, which was a huge marquee, you know, sit-down table, which you know to serve that many people in such a short space of time, I think was quite a, quite a good feat, and then get you back on time to your next presentations and meetings. I think was good as well. The format does work, does help you engage. I think there's a, you know, kind of a lot of incentives, I find even over lunch, and that just format of putting people on tables, you naturally just turn around and it, you know, it's another conversation point. It just adds a different dynamic. Uh, I think we've engaged with, of the sort of, uh, probably 120 people I've engaged with today, I think there's probably four or five who who've, uh, we've picked up additional meetings with. So in that respect, it's been very worthwhile. Every company is cutting uh, costs, so the fact that we can come here for free um, is a bonus um, and it also gives opportunity for those sponsors to, to get to see people that otherwise may not have turned up. I think the networking element of, uh, of the forum is, is crucial really because the value you get from that, from sharing ideas, um, even if you're in different organisations, different markets and different technology challenges, there will be underlying principles which are, which are common, right? Um, and I think that that, to me, is a, is a real gold dust where you can kind of hopefully help some people potentially or be a sounding board and likewise, the, you know, you get that kind of same benefit back. 
It's been a really, really useful day um, and there's obviously still more to come tomorrow morning as well. So, um, yeah, I've, I've taken a lot of notes of things to think about and, um, and take back to the business. We've met people that we've been trying to get in touch with over the last kind of number of months. Um, so really, and, and people we've been in touch with. Um, so really coming here and meeting people face to face, um, understanding their challenges and understanding, having a really kind of open conversation um, has been great. So the follow up will be more natural than it would be having not been here and having not met them face to face and um, had an arranged meeting with them. So in terms of follow up, I think it'll be extremely positive and I think we can go back to our team and Dropbox as a company and say this was definitely a positive exercise that we, we, we want to see more of in the future.